can't be the one that fought all those bounties. This room is reserved, Offworlder. I suggest you leave the room, Offworlder. I've got all the fans I need right here. So they space yourself. This room is reserved, Offworlder. <laughs> if you ask me, she got what she deserved. She looked down on us, beast riders. Good riddance. I know his face, that's about it. His office is on Bekel's turf. She's a beast rider like me and her leader. You better never be speaking ill of her, or else. There's got to be something you need, something you want. I have connections, many connections in the city. I can provide high-quality, unique weapons that you won't be able to find elsewhere. I even have a rare lightsaber crystal, something you'd never find elsewhere. If you need money, I'll pay you 5,000 credits. All I ask is get me one open Starport visa. Many Jedi have fought on this world. One of them lost their lightsaber in the Beast Wars. A reliable source says it's a rare Quixoni crystal. Incredibly rare and valuable. I see that's grabbed your interest, eh? There's only one way you're going to get it. One open Starport visa. No visa, no crystal. Don't worry what I'll do with a visa. Maybe I'll just take a vacation. Maybe I just want to visit my mother on Nar Shaddaa. Decent citizens like you really don't want to know what I'm going to do with it. You have an honest face. I will answer your question. I need to transport permacrete explosives for the exchange. They're going to use it to take care of some competition and some local authorities, permanently. Do you have a visa yet? I'm still paying very well for it. Some unique items you won't get any... I really can't be any help with that. I might have been in the same detention cell that night that Dagon's in now. The soldiers were asking me some entertaining questions that night. I've got no idea what was going on. Let's just say I'm one of their usual suspects. Sort of comes with the territory. That's all I'm going to say. near the beginning of the war. We, uh, we didn't win that battle. Enough of the past. The whole galaxy isn't safe for Jedi now, especially here. Onderon has suffered through three wars started by fallen Jedi. Do you still serve the Republic? I've had in months. I was sent by the Republic Senate to investigate certain delicate matters that are happening on Onderon. It's worse than we feared. 
I have to get to Coruscant to deliver my report. But days before I was planning to leave, they started requiring starboard visas. I really can't say. The most I will say is stay clear of General Vaklu. His ambition knows no bounds. I believe the people of Isis are absolutely correct. A civil war is brewing, and Vaklu may very well win if I can't get to Coruscant in time. Thank you for the tip. The journey to Coruscant would be more costly and attract more attention. But there are many freighters bound for Telos. What do you want to know about that night? Dagon Ghent didn't do it. Because he was with me at the time. It's quite simple. Right now, he's accused of murder. If he's convicted, the sentence is death. If he's accused of espionage, let's say, assisting a Republic spy, then the penalty for that is death. I'm afraid the Andoronians are quite fond of their death penalty. So if I stood up for him, he'd be trading one death sentence for another. I was with Dagon in his office at the time of the murder. He definitely wasn't involved with her murder. We were taking great pains not to be seen, which has a certain irony to it, really. If you can free him, please do. He's been invaluable with his help to the Republic. I only wish there was something I could do to help him. Assuming we get Dagon free, we're going to have a few private words about this. Together, we fought against the Republic during the Mandalorian Wars. I don't particularly like the idea that he's working for them now. The information I have is vital to the Senate. I hope you can help. My mission requires the most extreme caution and delicacy. I don't want to risk going through channels to get a visa. General Vaklu is not above arranging an accident for me. I'm taking a great risk talking to you, but I'm running out of options. Thank you. But this is a personal starport visa. It is key to you and you alone. I appreciate your gesture, but I need an open starport visa. Those are transferable and work for anyone. Helping me is not without its risks. I know you have Jedi training, so you can probably handle it. But I may be being watched. If, if that would compromise your mission, perhaps we should go our separate ways. Good to see you again. Any luck with the visa? Really? I've been looking for one for weeks. Thanks. You've done a tremendous service for the Republic. Now I have to catch the first shuttle out of here. May the Force be with you. Nice to meet you, sentient. Are you interested in a friendly game of Pazak? The deck is warm, the drink is plentiful, and the company amiable. Can I tempt you? Foul business, that is. Like most nights, I was here. What do you want to talk about? Probably my best friend on this planet. Honestly, he's not a very good doctor, but he is a great drinking companion. 
She did? Oh no, by the four moons, what a mix-up. They got it all wrong. Dagon and Sulio were good friends. It's just when they got a little too much Juma juice, they'd carry on. They'd call each other all manner of things. It could get quite hilarious, really. But it was just friendly banter. That night, Sulio was in great form. Dagon and I were laughing about some of the choicer ones later. Yellow Tooth Dung Dweller. <laughs> we bought her a couple of drinks afterwards. It may look strange on the outside, but it was just their habit. Their way of passing time during these dark nights. Listen, if the soldiers think that's a motive, they just didn't do enough digging. That bit of information will help with clearing Dagon. But the Onderon military won't let him off that easy. They're very obstinate. Maybe some of these people will know more about what happened that night. I was cleaning up stakes from a particularly rewarding Bazaar game when I heard a loud sound outside. I grabbed my blaster and went out the door. When I got out, I saw Captain Salio. She was quite dead. Blood was everywhere. I heard a noise and saw Dagon Ghent coming from his office across the courtyard. We both waited for the authorities to get there. The next day, they picked up Dagon and several other people in the area. It's crazy to think he did it. Salio was our friend. Just outside the door by the junk heap. It might be a good idea to look at the crime scene. We fought many soldiers in the Mandalorian Wars. The Onderonians were certainly brave, but they were disorganized and stupid. I wouldn't be surprised if they overlooked something. No him. I'd much rather talk about something else. Focusing on the negative is no way for a gambler to live. Yeah, I'm 
Pamaranka do risa vota, kovona me, suca to la bache kamatuch, porte choka. Tocu ne motivunta, la gichi sa? Kavadunta masura ku, popagi potenya, tace morota kansa. Ya vas cobo sabjo, mi chi sa carla moxo, mo chi tu sa sa grinde yo. Crack, mi zoto mi naka de sama crema crach vi tutu, pa carla ze zon mama, pa taka chi bin tan, pa reka chocha jerembe, so bo rama hota wata kan. Kavadunta masura ku, popayi botenya, tace morota kamsa, javas kobo sabjo, michi sakar la nukso, mochi tosa sakrindeyo, tahuku botenya go jucho picha, wen taba ni sochu, nortoka patun la la shishi, jula dosa jibacha, matak mansa, tokosha machi tolu, kavadunta masura ku, popayi botenya, tace morota kamsa, javas kobo sabjo, michi sakar la nukso, Mochi tu sa sa grande yo. Da hoku botenya go jucho picha. Wen taba ni sochu. Nortoga patun la la shishi. Jula dosa jibacha. Ratak mansa. Tokosha na chitolo. Kavadunta masura ku. Popayi botenya. Tache morota kamsa. Javas kobo sabjo. Michi sa karwa nukso. Mochi tu sa sa grande yo. Por nada nem só para marangá do risa vota, como não me, só já tô lá baixa com a tuch, por ter choca. Tô vendo nisso, eu não nasci tão só tuch. Cava dunta masura ku, papai botenya, tá cheio de morada cansa, já vas cobo sabjo, me disse a cara no oxo, mochi tô só só grandeio. Cava dunta masura ku, papai botenya, tá cheio de morada cansa. Ya vas cobo sabjo, mi chi sa carla nukso, mo chi tu sa sa grande yo. Kava dunta masura ku, popayi botenya, ta che morota kamsa. Ya vas cobo sabjo, mi chi sa carla nukso, mo chi tu sa sa grande yo. Tu no ka herete pa cha saborta, kri socho ventin si me punta, lor cha wata yuma ni, hodana yuma des. Dak bota no chi tagwa ita. Kawini malre, una bola kechua wantunga tong. Trachi kusha kunta chua tun bora ramwa. Don't sob on my rimpa, come a ricatan in Puna Chaos or Rupa and Wante, the Kama Coronde Samarakanti. Ogachi, Norta, Imbrae, we sota me, Chipra Tango, no me, we de Tota Rocha Wana Chiki, from the Brava, Nicatisho Sakor, Kavatumpa, or La Peleway Nicata. Nessunco, giova, pincia, cimba, taxi, tre, giugio, si, giugio, pitie, prim, taba, nin, soccio. Minonza, grate, rotota, da, giala, vara, conza, soto. 
Chubatone king chuba mi soko koche ti chike chusu moko tapra. Grabe chusai grengi biti hong doga. Kuriko aso toye e ringe free te de ducha or samba sukna kapla wie tinya tal chiro runta gamsa. Pasa susho i kana ina doka ches kapata rondi losa chira na dipi na ji ka chi a uban ka. Lutanas, anti hit mudi la yun chuba.
This room is reserved off worlder. <laughs> If you ask me, she got what you I know his face. Kami ini kemarin sedikit nasi jumlah dan semas. 
Không ngã bầu sao cũng nhìn nó Nobody we talked with mentioned a droid. This droid was destroyed recently. Someone inside the cantina might know more. Manja Yuma Lorda Wata, no Sanazika. The Wancha Mori Chiwa, Mufalawa, Nibobo, Nishio, Tuna Sita, Dorchoni Sobawata. Da Upa, Gosa Kurata, Go Jujutu Yoki, Kiata Yamba Wajiaki, Yukito Tune. Punta Chivita Inca que craia na Chawanga Cone. Da Wancha Mori Chiwa, Mufalawa, Nibobo, Wishio, Kuna Sita, Dorcho ni Sobawata. Wichawa, te crossi Wishio toda si, te crimba choco y mirindo. A lot of credits to be made around here lately, if you have the right skills. Heard of any good finds? It's not much, but enough to live on. Beasts are acting up again. Greetings, Master. Do you have any interest in my goods? Certainly. 1BAD is programmed to answer many basic questions from prospective buyers. What do you want to know? Greetings, Master.
What's wrong? Welcome back. My deck is still warm if you're up for bazaar. Foul business, that is. Like most nights, I was here. What do you want to talk about? That would be Bohemia's SOD2. Uh, no, SOD3. Or is it two? Whichever one it was, he keeps losing them. I remember when I arrived, it was still smoldering. Who knows? Sometimes the slum dwellers shoot his serving droids for fun. This part of the quarter is getting more and more lawless, I'm afraid. When Dagon and I were waiting for the soldiers, we had to chase off some scavengers that were stripping SOD3. No, I'm afraid there was quite a crowd growing. We were seeing if there was any way we could help Sullio. There was nothing we could do, of course. She was dead. I'd much rather talk about something else. Focusing on the negative is no way for a gamblet to live. This room is reserved, Op. <laughs> if you ask me, she got what she deserved. She looked down on... That Bith keeps buying droids, and the scavengers keep stealing them or blowing them up. Seems he's finally given up. The waitress is awful, but she's more fun than his droids ever were. I wouldn't tell you even if I knew. I could tell you where you could find the parts, though. That western square has the perfect fence for droid parts. There's a droid vendor called 1B8D. That droid is as dumb as a Gamorrean. He'll buy anything because he's too stupid to do anything else. 1B8D is quite handy. Quite a few of the slum dwellers make a good living salvaging droid parts for him. He might have even bought some. Master, do you have any interest in my goods? Entity Bahima unknown. I have many serving droid parts. The market rate for those parts would be 25 credits. Thank you for your business. Kiff and the cantina can probably do something with this. We should head back. Nizamanta, you my lord of water, no sanastika. 
da wancha mori chiwa mufala wa ni bobo nishio kuna sita dorto ni sobawata da upa o sakurata go juju to yoki hiata yamba wa dia ki yuki to tune kawana bota yuta tanga ki amatora ta yaita ta bosa na ansa Hello there. What is this? Oh my, she's dead. Kawana bota yuta tanga ta ta Welcome back. My deck is still warm if you're up for Bazaar. Foul business, that is. Like most nights, I was here. What do you want to talk about? If it'll help Dagon, you got it. There's no way that Dagon could have done it. I saw him coming from his office. That's the opposite direction of the marketplace. We should go talk to Captain Riken and clear all of this up. Nico, is it? And the Offworlder. What brings the two of you here? That's a bold statement. I assume you have some sort of proof. It's a long story, so bear with me, Captain. The night of the murder, I was playing Pazak. It was a prosperous night. That should do it. We still don't know who killed Sulia, but this will greatly assist our investigation. You have been ordered off this investigation, Captain. I hope you can explain yourself. I had nothing to do with this, sir. This citizen found information about Captain Sulio's murder. It's material to the investigation. We've already got our man. Sulio and this Ghent were fighting the night she was murdered. He had ample motive. Have you read the report? Some of the things Solio called him were vile. Solio and Dagon clearly hated each other. Why, you little... Friends would not carry on in such a man... It's absolutely true, Major. I was a friend of both of them. They've done this dozens of times. Bahima, the bartender, can confirm it, as well as half a dozen other people. They were an odd pair, but they certainly didn't hate each other. I see. But there's still the fact that he was right there at the scene of the crime. I've already given my report off-worlder. He came from his office, like I said. The only thing that matters to me is that he was within blaster range when Sulio was killed, and he did not have an alibi. You have a recording? Well, I'm sure you're just misinterpreting it. I've seen it myself, Major. Nico isn't the only one that spotted Dagon coming from his office. It really can't be Dagon Gant. The real killer is still loose. Very well, Captain. Set Gant free, then. But if later it turns out that he did do it, it's gonna be on your head. The men will be working on getting Dagon Gant out right away. The Major sure isn't happy. You're quite a team. Together, you got the Major to back down. That's no small feat. The investigation has been handled at the highest levels. I've heard there's been some concern about that. With Dagon free, I don't know if the investigation team will find another suspect. 
They haven't been as diligent as other investigators. I'm not gonna say any more. Probably said too much already. If you head over to Dagon Gent's office, some men will bring him there shortly. Thanks for clearing this whole thing up. I could tell the justice wasn't being served, but... We all have our orders. We really need to patrol that sector better. Thanks for getting me out of there. As detention cells go, it had death in the class, but I prefer being out of my own way safe. I owe you and Mandalore one. We go way back. Way before he became Mandalore. In my experience, Mandalorians always know about the doctors around. For some strange reason, they keep getting into scrapes. If you want to know more, ask him yourself. Wrong place, wrong time. Captain Sulio and I were acquaintances. I just happened to be too close when she got dead. Real shame. She wasn't bad to look at, and she could drink. No, and at this point, I don't care. Just glad to be free. She's dead now. Not like finding whoever did it will bring her back. I deal with death all the time. We all end up like her eventually. Yeah, it was. Although it looked pretty much like this to begin with. A little dirt never killed anyone. Well, maybe a few people. But they didn't pay too well, so they got what they deserve. I give my customers a menu of options. If they go for the deluxe, I'll clean up the place and put on a new smock. Otherwise, they knew the risks. Patients, customers, idiotic hut spawn, call them what you like. Most doctors tell you that they get into the business to save lives. Most of them are flaming liars. At least I'll tell you the truth. I'm in it for the credits. Like what? Not many people can help you out with that. There have been several assassination attempts on Queen Talia. That place is locked tighter than a hut's fall. I know a few people, though. Who do you need to get in touch with? Nobody knows for sure, but everybody thinks that General Fatu has to have something to do with it. They're keeping the attempts quiet, but that place is locked down tight. A Jedi Master, you say? Now that is interesting. It's quite a bounty in Jedi these days. Not that I'm looking to collect, but if there's a Master there, I think I know who it is. I'm not certain, otherwise I tell you. But the man I'm thinking about is smart, likes to stay in the shadows, and is cryptic as hell. If he isn't a Jedi Master, he should become one. There's a slight problem with that. I know you don't want to hear that since you went through all the effort of springing me out. The thing is, scavengers have already looted most of my stuff. Most of it's garbage anyway, so I don't care too much. But I did have a couple of encrypted holodiscs that they nabbed. So here's the punchline. I need those discs because they have some contact information on them. People I know you don't just walk up and chat with. There's a procedure. And that holodisc has the procedure. The Kells gang pretty much owns this street. From what I hear, she's the one to clean me out. She's in the local cantina most days. She's tough as Drexel leather and more dangerous than an angry Wookiee. You take Mandalore with you, though, you should be just fine. Just get me the encrypted holodisc. After that, if there is a Jedi Master in the palace, I'll get you a meeting with him.
Kroto na oranga manatandi Kroto. Mupitu na wana si Jin si wana obosh. Nujka wana si Jo lana pamanga ka. Mupitu wa Jo si mujuto. Tanto todos, tu muka rata. Mei ranga na roto. Dosi mana rachata. Sukrema sukunda tungala, me rontono junsa raka roto, min sukun raka wata, poenda rata mana sobu. Sukrema sukunda tungala, me rontono junsa raka roto, min sukun raka wata, poenda rata mana sobu. Sukrema sukunda tungala. Me rontono junsa raka roto, min sukun raka wata, poenda rata mana sobu. Aramontok tu muka rachukora, grun kan wana mochi nito rabanaka, dosi mora ra raja, gona chi drum paba nakaras. Tanto todos tu muka rata. Mei ranga na roto, dosi mana rachata. Kroto na ranga mana tandi kroto, mupitu na wana si Jin si wana obosh. What do you want here, Offworlder? The room is taken. The whole cantina is taken. You should leave. Put it to you. You? And just how do you intend to do that? The Offworlder wants to make a donation. Kill him and take everything. Yeah. <laughs> 
you're back. Please tell me you have an open starport visa. Thank the Four Moons for your kindness, Offworlder. I only wish I had some way to thank you. But my children and I will never forget your kindness. Hurry, children. We get to go on a spaceship, thanks to the captain. We get to go into space. found the encrypted holodisks yet. I won't be able to get a hold of my contact from the palace without it. Great, go in there. With these, I'll check my contacts at the palace. I should be able to get a meeting with your Jedi Master shortly. You got anything you need to take care of in the quarter, you best do it now. You're dealing with serious politics by contacting me. If things go bad during a meeting, you may not be welcome in ISIS anymore. Perhaps never. Just let me know if you want to go through with this. Yeah, yeah, I'll get on it. Just grab a cot and rest a bit. Once I get a meeting time, I'll let you know. Is this meeting a trap? I can't afford to lose you, especially given recent events. Anything could be a trap. Vaklu is no fool. But if the message is true... Is this necessary? I can guarantee your safety in the palace, but outside these walls, the General has many men that would do anything for him. Nothing in life is certain, Your Majesty. But I feel something. There is a disruption in the Force. I must investigate this. Very well. But please, be cautious. Aren't I always? That's what I was afraid you'd say. The meeting is on. Head straight to the cantina. You guys should be in there. And uh, no offense, but I hope I never see you again. You must have gone through a lot to arrange this meeting. The palace is a full battle readiness. Smuggling in a message is no small task. Kavar. The famed Jedi Guardian. The Mandalorians counted on the fact it would be you, not Revan, who would lead the Jedi against us during the Mandalorian Wars. I wonder how we'd have fared against you. I thought you were killed fighting Malak during the Jedi Civil War. It seems my former student keeps curious company. Strange times lead to strange alliances, though. No, I survived the war. If only just. Why are you here? I imagine that you hold little love for any on the Jedi Council anymore, even an old friend. You have to understand that it was a time of great uncertainty. We just learned that Darth Revan was back with an armada. 
Every Jedi that went with him was lost, corrupted, and as dark as their master. And then there was you. Many thought you were a spy, but there's more to it than that. And I think you deserve an expert. Am I interrupting? In orbit, I thought for sure that the Ebon Hawk was mine. I was sad, only to see you slip through my fingers during the battle. Imagine my delight to discover you were on Isis. Quite careless, if you ask me. Get them, men, and watch your aim. Civilian casualties cause a mess of paperwork. I must return to the palace. I'll get word to you when I'm able. Run! What? What have you done to my men? Last! Men, take care of him. I won't let Kavar escape. Hey, we should check our lines of fire around these bystanders. No grenades.
What? What's happening in the West Square? It sounded like battle. Command's ordered comm black out. Do you know what's going on? What? Why? That makes no sense. Command hasn't issued any alerts. Are you sure it wasn't some of those Beast Rider slags? They've been getting bolder recently. You, you must be mistaken. Soldiers just don't attack civilians without orders. If it weren't for the comm blackout, I'd check with command. Just head to the safety of the Merchant Square, citizen. We'll send a patrol to investigate as soon as we can contact our HQ. Not all the military is after us. Still, Vaklu can throw a whole army at us. I think we've outworn our welcome over here. We should head over to the spaceport before General Vaklu invents some charges against us. Then we'd be in real trouble. You know what to do. Let's do it! Who wants to die first? The diagnostic is doing something strange. Target acquired. What the hell does that mean? That's another one for me. Time to die. That's another one for me. That's another one for me. That's another one for me. You're cleared to go. Your visa's been scanned. You're cleared to leave. I'd leave right away. Things are going crazy in this quarter. The shuttle is just ahead. I think we should get out of here fast. It's gonna be some time before they forget about us here. No more trips to ISIS for us until the situation changes. A lot.
fighting many of us Jedi, but such actions only delay the inevitable, annoying recitation. Let us proceed to facilitate communications, recitation, and bring about the termination of hostilities. back. The shuttle is going to stay docked here until further notice. I'm not ready to part company yet. It sounds like you have a lot of traveling to do. So do I. I'm going with you. The Sith have taken a particular interest in you, and you could use an extra blaster. I've been meaning to leave Duxon to look for other Mandalorian clans anyway. The Sith aren't known for sharing power. If the Jedi Order is destroyed for good, it's inevitable that the Sith will dominate the Republic, and then my people will be eradicated or enslaved. Helping your cause is a matter of necessity. Mandalorians helped Exar Kun during his war. We know firsthand how we'd fare in the service of their like. But that's enough for now. We'll have time to talk later. The Ebon Hawk is patched up and ready to go. When you're ready to depart, we can ask the guide here to take us back to the ship. I want to have a word with you. I wanted to make sure that we have some things clear. Right now, we both seek the same goals. Whatever our reasons may be, the Sith must be stopped. If they destroy the Jedi, the Republic will fall and my people will be eradicated or enslaved. To survive, I'll help you. But as Mandalore, I have another duty. The unification of the clans. After our defeat at Malachor, the survivors spread across the Outer Rim, many taking up work as mercenaries, or worse. But they cannot have fallen so far that they will not recognize a new Mandalore has been chosen. One who will restore our people to glory. I'll fight beside you, but I'm warning you, don't get in my way. I'm not asking for help. I'm just asking you to let me do this. Cross me, and I might have to reevaluate our arrangement. After the Sith are dealt with, you can turn your attention to us. Or maybe we can forge an alliance of our own. Our next battle need not be fought against your Republic. Consider what I've said. Now is there something else you needed?
command, you will talk. Defiant statement. There is nothing you can do to me. Do your worst. Agonized exclamation. <gasps> My photoreceptors! My photoreceptors! Statement. I shall up the charge of your circuits next time. Now, answer the question. Posturing statement. I will never talk. Statement. Then I will have to settle for your screams. That is one sick boy. Statement. My prisoner has revealed something of interest. Allow me to share it with you. Statement. The facility that is creating these cruder, unsophisticated versions of me is located on Telos. I propose we go there and turn it into a smoldering crater. I dreamt of Manacor. I remember the ships, the last stand of the Republic. The tattered remnants of our fleet, the largest we could gather. But it was damaged, weakened, and vulnerable. The Mandalorians couldn't resist. They tore into us like beasts, shredding our ships to scrap as we fought back. Yet this time, there were no reinforcements for either side. Revan had been delayed out system by Mandalorian scout ships. By the time he arrived, it was too late. And beyond Malakor, there were no more Mandalorians left to die. I remember standing on the bridge with you and watching the destruction of the Republic. Watching ships full of soldiers and Jedi burn and die. I remember the look you had when you turned to me. It was the longest you'd ever looked at me. You didn't say anything. Just a nod. Events moved quickly then, even in my dreams. Flashes, explosions, you falling. I could feel the pain around me. And then the memory. The drifting hulks of the Mandalorian ships. The dead. Allies. Friends. Strangers. And then the echo. Lingering. The sound I awakened to in my nightmares. Blame lies with me for creating it. The situation forced your hand. Anger forced mine. You realize that unless action was taken, the fleet would be destroyed and the Republic would fall. None of us realize the magnitude of what we unleashed. So you fought against the Mandalorians in the war? I was part of the war effort, yes. I worked as a technician, though. But you fought on the front lines. To a Mandalorian, there is honor in that. I could do without your Mandalorian honor. I saw the results of your honor. The absolute destruction your warriors brought. And look at them now. Mandalorians are little better than mercenary thugs. And what's honor to someone like that? All they care about are credits. If I were you, I'd pick your words more carefully. Maybe that's what it looked like to you, but that isn't why we fought. We fought for honor and glory in the heat of battle. You did nothing but murder innocents. The Republic took us too lightly. We wanted to face the full force of their army. We had to goad them to fight. That's exactly what I'm talking about. If you ask me, you Mandalorians just got what you deserved at Malakor. Defeat is part of a warrior's life. We will recover, stronger than before. Doesn't it even bother you that you're almost destroyed. Or do lives have no meaning to you? People die in war. Well, I'm glad to have you guarding my back. Fine by me.
I heard you making friends with the bounty hunter. I don't blame you. She's a scrapper. You don't survive on Nar Shaddaa for very long if you aren't. I've known people like her. Maybe without the rocket launchers, but sort of the same. Maybe without the plunging neckline and the boots. I wouldn't let anything she says bother you. It's a wonder you cracked her attitude at all. She's cold as the ship's hull. Something wrong? All right. It's all this traveling, being trapped in the ship. Everything's, everything's just too quiet. I'd rather be doing something, somewhere with people, activity, some life. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been off planet. Guess I got used to it. Well, Nar Shaddaa may be one of the biggest cesspits in the galaxy, but it's got a life to it. Activity. Aliens. People. Refugees. It's like noise, but relaxing. Like the hum of a hyperdrive. Yeah, well, I wouldn't go that far. I'll believe it when I see it. Maybe one day, I'll let you. All right, but I doubt you're going to show me anything I don't already know. And when you show me, don't act like a tourist. It attracts predators. Has there been any sign of the ship? No, mistress, nor any word of our sister. We do not know where they travel now. The freighter, it is important. And I thought the droid was as well, but I was wrong. Mistress, we still do not know the significance of the ship or the droid. We downloaded all you asked, but we are still no closer to the answers you seek. Then perhaps we'll need to have faith that your sister will change her mind, remember her oath, and return to us with the answers we seek. I hope so, mistress. But there has been no word of her since she departed with the other four on the freighter. Four? Yes, mistress. The Iridonian, the Ichani-trained pilot, the exile, and the old woman. Old woman? Yes, mistress. I do not recall seeing her. Mistress, she was secured for much of the time the exile was here. At other times, you were meditating, and we did not wish to disturb you. Mistress, is there something wrong? I am tired. I sometimes feel as if things are collapsing all around us. 
Contact is just at the edge of perceptions, waiting. I fear... I fear things will collapse before our enemies reveal themselves. Yes, mistress. I will meditate upon this. Perhaps it will clear my mind. Spare this time. Much appreciated, friend. Life's hard in the refugee sector, and this should go a long way to helping. Uh, all right. I don't know much beyond the refugee sector here, but I can share what I know.
What's wrong? Why are you stopping? No, I don't believe in the Force. It's Jedi tricks, sleight of hand. Hurt, is it? Feel the currents here on Nashada, the ebb of life. A simple kindness can be given to another. This is the Force, and all our choices, from the greatest to the smallest, affect each other, and the echoes travel. I can feel this... Planet. I can't shut it out. It's louder now, it hurts. All these people. That's what I want. I'm sure of it more than anything. I want to become like you. I want to be strong. I don't want to be afraid or alone anymore. I don't want to keep running and looking and never feel like I'm finding what I'm looking for. I am tired of being hunted. When the galaxy takes something from me, I want the power to let go. And I want the power to heal the echo when it's gone. That sounds all right, from where I'm standing. What's wrong?
I am prepared for what I understand now. My life. General, what is it? Traveling with the Mandalorians, it brings back too many memories. Don't worry about me. I won't cause any problems. But if Mandalore steps out of line, I'll put him out the airlock. You're right. I'm just not used to the idea of fighting with Mandalorians. Was this something you wanted me for? Yes, General? If you think they'll help. It'll take practice. Yes? Yes. Have you come with questions? Very well. What is it that drives you? When I spoke of sight before, there is a similar handicap that tends to occur among those strong in the Force. They neglect their skills. Some believe they no longer need them. The greatest wielders of the Force are those that maintain some grounding to the more physical realities of the universe. Some wielders of the Force have mastered piloting, others the ability to fix and repair and build from simple moisture vaporators to more complex machines, such as droids and vehicles. One's ability to understand the human body and its ailments, for example, can make your powers within the Force more complete, more powerful, when you attempt to repair the cellular damage of another. And others have mastered the more subtle work of politics, persuasion. Do not doubt that a galaxy may be conquered with words, a republic overthrown, and an empire made. When such skills are honed, one's abilities with the Force become that much stronger. My warning to you is this. Do not rely on your companions to compensate for your weaknesses in skill. There will be times they will not be there to help you when needed. What skill would you say is your greatest strength? What skill would you say is your greatest weakness? Then my task before you is this. Take your greatest weakness, devote effort to it, strengthen it, and I will show you how it shall strengthen your power in the Force. As you learn and train and test yourself against the galaxy, all your skills have a chance to improve and grow as well. When you devote some of that training to your weakest skill, you will know. Ask, and I will answer. What of them? Perhaps there is truth in what the Servant of Atreus says. Much may be communicated in the motions of battle. It is a picture, a dance against someone trying to describe that motion. I have learned that we do not need to kill her. But if we want one that has truly fallen to the dark side, we should look elsewhere for our allies. I believe she should serve our purposes. She is the doorway that may lead us to her lord if it proves necessary or bring him to us.
quickly. Perhaps the blinded one is more of an unknown quality, however. That is what I said, and I will gladly turn any such blade pointed at us and send it stabbing into the heart against anyone who dares to harm you. It is good we see this in the same perspective. There are many among the Jedi who would openly object to such things. Yes, have you come with questions? Very well. What is it that drives you? Very well. Sit with me. You have brushed the surface thoughts of another. It is a start. Calm yourself. This time, silence your own thoughts. Keep them still. Imagine the waters of the room of a thousand fountains, each stream suddenly falling silent and still. Imagine the ice of Telos, cold and smooth as it gathers upon the plateau. Now, stretch out. Feel the ship around you. Strip away the metal and see the souls and minds of those that fill its corridors with more thoughts and dreams and worries than can fill the space of this ship. As my feet walk from the ashes of Qatar, I shall not fear, for in fear lies death and... If I up the Dabana gas levels in the carbine, that would be enough to punch a hole even in triple Durasteel. And we'll need weapons like that if the Republic discovers the camp on Duxon. From the first move, strike. Repeat. Faster. Quicker. If father had been faster. If only father had been faster. If I was faster, I would no longer be the last of my sisters. But does Atrus love him? Jedi do not love. Does Atrus hate him? Jedi do not hate. This journey is harder than any she has sent me on. This place is so quiet. Nothing like Nar Shaddaa. I don't even know why I'm here. I wonder how much the bounty on the Jedi is now. I don't understand how that Jedi keeps in shape like he does. He's barely changed from the Hollow Records. He just seems to be naturally young. Switch the face of the plus one, minus one card. The totals are nine, ten. Switch the face of the plus two, minus two card. The total is eight, eleven. Switch. Your command echoes still, General. And I obey, as I did at Malakor. As my feet walk from the ashes of Qatar, switch the face of the plus one I minus one card. Fear. The totals are nine ten. Fear. Switch the face of the plus two. The command is to go still gentle. The total is eight. And I obey. Switch as I did at Malakor. Not now. Focus on my voice. Malakor. Now do you hear me? Truly hear me. You have taken the first steps on a much longer road, Exile. The droids cannot be read in such a way. As for the alien who served with you in the war, its thoughts are more difficult, requiring many translations in meaning. Often it is better to read their impulses and images than their spoken thoughts. That is why he is deaf to you. I have found his impulses are cold, like a dead weight. His thoughts are black. Indeed. It is strange that I did not. Perhaps I would not put much weight on such things. Of course there was. It is because Atten was not playing Pazak, yet he counts cards in his head. At times he will list off engine sequences memorize the hyperspace routes on the other side of the galaxy, count the ticking in the power couplings, even though they are fixed. At other times, he will imagine certain base lusts, certain indignities. 
It may be Atten is far cleverer than he feigns to be. Or perhaps he is simply a fool. Yes, have you come with questions? Very well. What is it that drives you? Ah, oh, I had wondered if... But your powers are strong indeed. There are places in the galaxy. Strong in the Force. Light. Dark. They are born in places teeming with life, and in places that are filled with death. Worlds whose surfaces are graveyards, whose screams echo through the Force. It is possible for war, for men to give birth to such places, to leave wounds on the galaxy itself. What you heard was the echo of the past, and it travels still. The answer will come to you in time. It must. When there is nothing more that you may learn from me, when the ruins of your past have been cleared away and I am no more, then you shall know what it is. And if you do not, then the galaxy shall die, and all my hopes for you will have been for nothing. Ask, and I will answer. Yes. Very well. The Jedi practice many forms, many styles of lightsaber combat. It is good to know them, but not to rely on them. You may have already felt the Shicho. The si others may come with time. It is simple, and its simplicity is strength. It allows focus a slightly improved chance of connecting with one's opponent. It has no other advantages or disadvantages. It is an effective form to fall back on when no other form will do. Others may come with time, with experience. Ah, a technique that helps one resist the force attacks of an enemy and also is excellent in lightsaber combat. It does more damage but it leaves you vulnerable to other attacks. Use it against others wielding the Force or lightsabers, but not against anyone else. Others may come with time, with experience. A defensive technique, but effective. Use it if you do not wish to be hit, or if you are facing many opponents with blasters. With a lightsaber blade and enough skill in deflection, it is an excellent offense against blasters, but in other situations, it merely delays the inevitable. Others may come with time, with experience. An aggressive technique, but it is powerful, effective. It can counter blaster weapons and add to the damage of your critical. Others may come with time, with experience. Thanks for what you showed me on Nar Shadda. It's going to take some time to let it sink in, but, but thanks. I feel alive. It's strange, but it feels right somehow, like a piece inside me just clicked into place. Talk. About what? Why, you trying to be my father? No thanks.
Yes, General. Statement. Master, if you could indulge me for a moment, I must express some degree of irritation at your actions. Perhaps my anticipation of working with one who served at Malachor V was too high. But you are countering all those expectations. Statement. Well, all your behavior up to this point suggests either strong atonement or confirmation that the atrocities attributed to you during the war were, in fact, accidents. Statement. I suspected as much, Master. There are few who would discuss such things with an assassination droid, and that is perfectly understandable. I mean, what use is there for communication in a galaxy such as ours? Understanding might be achieved, or sympathies might be gained by such callous acts. You are right to remain silent about your past. I have seen the damage that repressing such things brings, and it is far preferable to share such traumas. Answer. Why? Because your actions then and now are related, and I feel I need some context. I confess to being somewhat needy that way. Statement. Sometimes, Master, it is difficult for meatbags to step back and gain some perspective on death and its importance in their insignificant lives. Explanation. You see, Master, assassination is such a versatile tool. I have seen the removal of a single target have far-reaching consequences for a nation, world, even a galaxy. The repercussions of even the smallest lives, whether dead or alive, can have profound implications on history. But surely you realize this. Statement. Why your own life, Master? Your single life changed the face of the galaxy, of history itself. Malachor V was an impressive act of destruction, but its impact on the lives of others in the galaxy was far more extreme. I mean, Master, you brought about the death of the Mandalorian race. I doubt they realize it yet, but you dealt them a blow from which they will never recover. Retort. Oh, Master, I am attempting to justify nothing, merely making an observation. Nothing would change the fact that I derive pleasure from ending the lives of others. I was only trying to bring death and its impact to your attention. Statement. Ah, more questions. Wonderful. Query. Indeed, I was unaware that the Nava computer was locked. Statement. Yes, I heard it was voice printed. Most curious. Statement. I suppose so, Master. But I would need to know who voice locked it. And regrettably, I do not have that knowledge. It seems to me that we will have to accept the T3's astrogation abilities for the time being. It is a very loyal and dependable droid for its class. Statement. Ah, more questions. Wonderful. Yes?
Yes. Have you come with questions? Ask, and I will answer. Ignorance. And perhaps they do not remember or care. It is of no consequence to me or to them. Am I? Then perhaps you should know. There are techniques in the Force, where one can cloud the memory of others, make their presence so small as to be unnoticed. And on the worlds where we have encountered these Jedi, there is much life and death where sensing such things is difficult. As I said, it is of no consequence to me or to them. No, but if I did, you would never know. So my words only carry as much worth as you believe them to. But perhaps you will understand this. That perhaps it is important to me that you see me and my actions uncloaked. It is important that your judgments, whether be good or bad, stem from seeing me as I truly am. I did not ask you to trust me. Only that you listen to what I have to tell you. But thank you. Nice ship you have here. Where did you get it? She'd have some stories to tell. Now, was there something else you needed? Yeah, something wrong? This better not be any of that boring meditation stuff. That puts me to sleep. Got it. I understand. I'll try to make use of it. Yeah, something wrong? Yeah. Well, all I need is my rocket launcher and some rockets. I'll ignore that little crack next time you need some covering fire. What did you want to show me? All right, I think I have it. It might take some practice, but I've got the basics. Yeah, something wrong? Yeah. I'll ignore that little... All right, I think I... Yeah, something wrong? Yeah. Well, all I need is my rocket launch. I'll ignore it. All right. I th yeah, something wrong? Yeah. Well, all I need is... I'll ignore that little... All right, I think I have... Yeah, something wrong? Yeah. I'll ignore... All right. Yeah, something wrong? Yeah. All right, I think I have. Yeah, something wrong? Yeah. All right, I think I have it. Yeah, something wrong. Something up? Passes the time. It's better than listing off engine sequencers, memorizing hyperspace routes, or counting ticks in the power couplings.
Of course it's fixed. And that's why you should count the ticking in the power coupling too. Why do I play Pazak? All right, I'll show you. Match. Now, what are you thinking about right now? Right. And that's why I play Pazak in my head. Because if you don't, you've left the door open. And anyone could walk right in. Of course you did. You see, Jedi, light or dark, do it. More often than you'd think. But I never heard one say they were sorry before. That's a new house rule. Nothing. I'm just someone who plays Pazak in his head. But while I'm doing that, it's a lot harder for someone to walk in. No, I can only teach you to play Pazak. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's not something I can teach you. You've come to the wrong guy. Good. Now you understand. All right, I'll deal then. If you're ever fighting someone who has the power over your mind, whether light or dark, play Pazak. Start listing hyperspace routes, recite engine sequencers, and when they try to use their powers on you, suddenly it's not as easy as they thought. Jedi do it all the time, and when they walk in the dark places of your mind, they'll use it to hold you by the throat. Something up?
All right. Uh All right. Something up? Oh yeah. All right. Something up?
You have been with us since Terrace. Without you, we would never have escaped that place. And for that, I thank you. I'm leaving this message inside you because I have seen glimpses of the future. And the bond that he and I share does not allow him to hide everything from me. More of his memories have returned, and they trouble him. He has remembered something. Something on the edge of the galaxy. And he believes that he must go there to end it. But I am afraid for him. Afraid that he may not return. I need you to be the beacon, T3. If he is lost out there, on the edge of the galaxy, if he finds whatever terrible thing he has seen, then he may not survive. If he doesn't make it back, then I need you to return to the Republic. Find help. If you cannot find me, then seek out other Jedi. The Republic... I can't lose him, even if he believes he is protecting me. Another visitor? You must be here to join in the plunder of the old Jedi Enclave. You have to see Administrator Adari first.
You're one of the salvagers, right? Your ship looks banged up enough to be part of that lot. But you look different. Then who are you? The only recent visitors we've had on Dentuin have been salvagers and a slew of mercenaries. Just to see the sights, right? You're just another salvager. Go see Administrator Adari in Kunda if you want to get into the ruins. Kunda is the big building just outside the landing port. It used to be the estate of a man named Matali, but he and his family disappeared around the time of the bombardment. The Administrator rebuilt it, and now this is our center of government. I know it doesn't look like much, but there aren't many settlers that live on this planet. This building is the start of something new for us. We're very proud of it. We're working on it. Is there anything else you'd want to talk about? She was the agricultural administrator of Dantooine. After the Sith attack, she kept us together. Without her, the only thing you'd see around here are mercenaries. We had problems with Mandalorian mercenaries even before the Jedi Civil War. The Jedi helped clear most of the problem up, but after the war, many soldiers from both sides of the conflict became mercenaries. And since we're so far from the core, some started gathering here. The difference between an out-of-work mercenary and a raider is a vibroblade's edge. The only thing we can prove they've done is intimidate a few farmers. The farmers give them goods, money, or food just to stay on their good side. The only one that isn't scared of them is the administrator. There have also been a lot of disappearances recently, and not all of them can be blamed on cath hounds. But nobody can prove the mercenaries are responsible. A farmer here and there, or a family. We lost enough people during the war that keeping the Cath Hound and Kinrath populations under control hasn't been possible. So there are a lot of animal attacks. Some deaths, too. The disappearances might be just coincidence, but a lot of the stubborn folks seem to be more accident-prone. Have you ever sliced a Jedi security door? The old ruins are secure from salvagers unless they get permission from Adare. Just head into the building and you'll find your way to the administrator. I'll be over by the entrance if you need anything else. Yes?
The Athorians are justifiably renowned for their ability to stabilize ecospheres, but some things are beyond even their skills. <laughs> Ah, 
Sidan Elfa var Inuva Elfa i Linda Kufna. Set and activated. What do you want? I don't have time for cursed salvagers. Well, you don't look like a damn mercenary, and you don't smell like a stinking farmer. Why else would you be here? Not sure what they're doing here other than causing trouble. There's not really much work here for mercenaries. Maybe they're here to collect the bounty on that Jedi. I don't know for sure, but that's what they say. Oh, you know, the folks around Kunda. Go there yourself and get the details firsthand. You'll find the Kunda outpost just outside the landing port. Is this gonna take long? I'm busy, you know. Now, salvagers are a crazed lot of treasure hunters, looking to loot something of value from the ruins of the Jedi Enclave. Most of them end up broke and dead. If you ask me, anything of value that was in the Enclave has already been plundered. Nothing but rumor. They say the spirits of the angry dead haunt the ruins. On a quiet night, you can hear the ghosts howling and scraping around. Oh, you know folks around Kunda. Go there yourself and get the details firsthand. Find the Kunda outpost just outside the landing port. Is this gonna take long? I'm busy, you know. Can't you tell? I'm a mechanic. In fact, I'm the only mechanic here in Kunda. I'm responsible for maintaining everything mechanical or electrical at the Kunda outpost. Yeah, sometimes it seems nothing works around here, but I don't have time to complain. Too much work to do. You're right. Well, between the droids, the security doors, and the gun turrets, I have my hands full. All of the droids in Kunda are relics from the last one. Most of them are damaged and rusted. Best I could do was get that ratchety old protocol droid over there operational so it could creep visitors. Most of the other droids are laying broken around Kunda Outpost. Well, it's just one door, actually, but I could scratch my head bald before I figured out how to fix it proper. Problem is, 
side security door to Kunda was damaged in the war. Every time I try to fix it, the door either sticks open or it locks down completely. Then I have to spend a week taking it apart to get it to open or close again. The gun turrets outside the Kunda outpost are supposed to defend against potential assaults, wild critters and the like. But they only work half the time. Sometimes they get confused as to what's friend and foe. Why, just the other day, right after I repaired one of the guns, it turned on a sorry group of militia men returning from a patrol. No casualties, but it put several of them in the med lab. And I can't seem to fix the blasted medical droid either. Is this gonna take long? I'm busy, you know. Greetings, Agote Traveler. On behalf of the Kunda Settlement, I am programmed to welcome you to Tatooine. Is there something I can do to serve you? My apologies. I have no recollection of the Sith invasion topic. Error. Memory overflow. Resetting. May I be of any further service to you? Processing. Exterior damage analysis. Level 7 impairment. Multiple casing breaches detected. Bipedal servos misaligned by 32 degrees. Memory storage overflow. Memory unit is approximately 56 months overdue for maintenance. Greetings, Jedi. Welcome back to Dantooine. Hey, did that droid just call you a Jedi? A Jedi? I've got to tell the others. Well, I suppose not. Your eyes aren't glowing and you don't have horns sticking out of your forehead. <laughs> Crazy droid. Sorry for being jumpy. It's... Just that we hate the Jedi here. Why? The Jedi are the cause of everything bad that's happened here in the last five years. Oh, don't get me started. I got too much work to do to stand around and rant about the damn Jedi. If you want to hear more, just talk to anyone in Kunda Outpost. Greetings, Jedi. May I be of any further service to you? Dantooine is a rural world, far removed from most galactic trade routes. Historically, agriculture has been Dantooine's primary industry. Since the destruction of the Jedi Enclave, salvage of the rural has become a key area of growth for the local community. The famed ruins of the Jedi Enclave can be found northwest of the Kunda outpost. You may visit the ruins at your own risk. Zeron strongly urges salvagers to avoid the highly dangerous sublevel of the Enclave ruins. Approximately five years ago, the Dark Jedi Malak and his Sith fleet assaulted Dantooine. The surprise of the initial orbital bombardments prevented any resistance from the surface. The attack destroyed much of the Jedi Enclave, leaving only the sublevel partially intact. The Sith attack also concentrated heavily on some obscure ruins to the south, but the reason for this is unknown. You are on the register as one of the Jedi who left the Enclave to fight in the Mandalorian Wars. My memory has no record of your return before now. You had no direct interaction with this droid. However, I had one instance of a conversation between Masters Rook and Vandar regarding you. 
Beginning playback. Error. Recording partially corrupted. Resolving. Today I caught him in a heated argument with my Padawan. His master refuses to properly discipline. I want to know what action you intend. Luke, I respect your wisdom, but it is not your concern. But uncontrolled. Whatever the other Padawans see him do, they are quick to do the same. Other students dislike him intensely. True. An average student of the Force, but with a unique strength. He's a natural leader. I strongly disagree. Mediocre Jedi. Lust for power. Will lead to the dark side. Furthermore, in... Recording degraded. End playback. May I be of any further service to you? Dantooine is a since the Kunda's salvage industry is a main source of income for the local community. At their own risk, salvagers may remove relics from designated salvage areas within the ruins. The fee to remove a relic from Dantooine is proportionate to the appraised value of the item. For more details, speak to Administrator Terena Adare at the Kunda Outpost. The famed ruins of the Jedi Enclave can be found northwest of the Kunda Outpost. You may visit the ruins at your own risk. Xeron strongly urges salvagers to avoid the highly dangerous sublevel of the Enclave ruins. Approximately the attack. You are... Approximately five years ago, the Dark Jedi Malak and his Sith fleet assaulted Dantooine. The surprise of the initial orbital bombardments prevented any resistance from the surface. The attack destroyed much of the Jedi Enclave, leaving only the sublevel partially intact. The Sith attack also concentrated heavily on some obscure ruins to the south, but the reason for this is unknown. May I be of any further service to you? The local militia occasionally offers employment to qualified soldiers. Speak to Zeron in the Kunda outpost. Additionally, many visitors come to Kunda to explore the ruins for salvage opportunities. The Kunda outpost is just outside this landing facility. May I be of any further service to you? The main area of interest for visitors is the Kunda outpost. There you will find the local officials who preside over the Dantooine colony. Administrator Terena Adare and Militia Leader Zeron. Zeron strongly urges soldiers to avoid the highly dangerous sublevel of the Enclave ruins. Due to reduced militia manpower, several dangerous beasts overpopulate the more rural areas of Dantooine. For more information, speak with Zeron in the Kunda outpost. May I be... My memory banks recognize you as a Jedi. You are among many Jedi who were trained in the Academy here at the Enclave, prior to its destruction during the Sith invasion. May I be of any further service to you? I am conducting my appointed rounds. May I be of any further service to you? If you will excuse me, I must continue my appointed rounds. finally decided to let me take a look at your circuitry. Answer, indeed I did. I hope you understand how difficult it is for me to trust a meatbag with something as delicate as my inner mechanics. Explanation, our encounters with my copies has convinced me that I should look into upgrading my capabilities in order that I may be able to destroy them with greater impunity. Worried you might be going obsolete? I understand. Objection. 
Nothing of the sort. I am programmed to improve my capabilities if it will improve my chances of destroying a target, even as unsavory an avenue as this. You don't have to suffer on my account. Maybe you are better off not letting me dig around in you. Retraction. You must understand. My previous interactions with meatbags have rarely been pleasant. Disclosure. After all, most of those meetings involved the termination of said meatbags. It obviously couldn't have been your charming personality. Now, if you want me to see if I can upgrade your functionality, just let me get to work on you. Answer. In that case, please go ahead. Just be careful not to damage any of my delicate parts. Analysis. My self-diagnostic indicates that my performance has indeed been improved. Also, many of my systems are reporting improved efficiency. Commentary. I am most pleased with this turn of events. It would appear that my initial analysis of your mechanical abilities was incorrect. You're welcome. Yes, General? Ready to serve. Thank you. 